Wama buku sote ya mbile huku mzere So Perekani mabuku When Jesus called his 12 disciples together He gave them authority over all devils And to cure diseases He sent them to preach the word And heal the sick Today The Eagle Wings Ministries International Carries on the mission They preach the gospel through the church called the Church of Eagles and heal the sick through the medical missions whose priceless services are offered absolutely for free to all. This in particular is the Ntalile mission in progress. The medical team here comprises experts from Malawi and dental students from the University of North Carolina in the U.S. We took uh, uh, a team of 15 to 20 uh, volunteers and uh, Ntarire is an extremely remote area, and uh, it's, it's a six-hour drive out of Mzuzu, going north uh, through Nyika, and, um, and, and the communities around Ntarire uh, have extreme difficulty uh, accessing medical and dental care. And, and, and when our team arrived, uh, word spread like wildfire, and, and, and more than a thousand people are benefited from this medical mission and, and we just thank God for that. Traditionally, when these teams arrive at a place like this, they primarily deal with dental cases and general medical problems. In field dental service provision, experts do teeth extractions, that is removal of damaged teeth from the mouth, they clean clients' teeth that require expert touch and also fill in holes developed in the teeth as a result of bacterial infection. But paramount to all, the Eagle Wings Medical Missions teams provide people with oral health education as a preventive measure at different stages of their field operations. This amateur video was shot to walk you through the Eagle Wings Ministries 2012 Medical Missions team operation in Talire. The ministry's founding president, Pastor Dr. Temen Renda, sets the ball rolling. Uh, Helbert, there was a whole range of, of um, very, very interesting cases, uh, both medical and as well as dental. Uh, but I can share with you one specific one that uh, really comes to mind is, um, is that of a lady um, um, who has had uh, a tumor uh, growing in her mouth. Uh, for more than 15 years uh, and this tumor is, is painless and, 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 and but it is growing all the time so it's a benign tumor and, um, and um, uh, she didn't want to go to hospital and uh, uh, there was just nowhere to go uh, and, and we heard about about this lady and, and uh, so we, we, we drove uh, looking for her uh, an, an hour drive going east of, of Ntariri Central uh, in an area called Mahove. And um, uh, when we arrived there, um, uh, we found um, uh, the chiefs and, 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 and the villagers waiting for us. Fortunately, we found the lady. She was sitting in that group of people because they heard that uh, uh, the medical mission team is coming. Uh, and so we, 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 we examined this lady. Uh, we found that she had a tumor growing in her mouth, and um, it's been there for 15 years, and uh, characteristic of what we call an ossifying fibroma. Uh, and, and so we, we immediately uh, uh, um, uh, worked out uh, a plan for her referral uh, to a tertiary institution, in this case, Mzuzu Central Hospital. Uh, so that we could operate on that tumor, and, and this woman is just going to be fine. And yeah, so what the approach we have to take on this tumor is that we're going to equally, we are, we are equally going to raise a flap. Yes, because this tumor can even be done an, an under local. Right. What we do, we, we raise a flap, we make a cut here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we make another cut here. Mm -hmm. Now we elevate this gun. It means that tumor, that bone hard tumor, the swine fibroma will be exposed. Yeah. So what we need definitely do is just to excavate it. Because as you can see, 
the um, um, one three and then one four have been pushed inside. Yes. Yeah. So this is a benign tumor. It's a benign tumor, so it does not cause uh, no, 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 threatening her life. No, no, it's not life if you threaten. That's so cool. this is another very interesting case. You see, it, it, is, it has been a neglected case. This lady, because she could not access any dental service, she had just been keeping it. Yes. For the past over 20 years, it's not a joke. Mm -hmm. Med dental intervention would have been done some time back. That's right. So those, th these are definitely the benefits of going to, to the Thiruro yes. to see exactly what the Thiruro community needs because there's need for a lot of uh, civic awareness a lot of education has to, to be done because this one would have been intervened quite early when it was a very small thing but how, however she's quite lucky that we're here at last and we're really going to do the best of us what we're going to do i'm going to write a referral right away from from me eh, to a district and then we'll be sent to mzuzu says mzuzu where we are going to do this pro procedure? Yeah, we should have an army. Okay. And what a relief! Twenty years, um, and she's had this tumor growing in the mouth. But it, I'm, I'm glad to say that this is now history because as we speak, uh, she's already been referred to hospital for that operation. Okay. So Ray, can I talk to you a minute? So what do you think of this case? I think it's an instance where it's best to go ahead and get this tooth out so <laughs> that, like you were saying, that the, the canine can begin to come down and right. correct the malocclusion that she has. Right. Um, and, you know, when you check her again in four months, yeah. hopefully you'll see some type of progress. Right. So, so have you seen uh, many cases of malocclusions uh, back home? I have like it. like this one. I have it. So you must be really excited to see this particular one. I am. That's one of the great things I like about having the opportunity to come right and participate in the Malawi project. Great. We don't get to see things like. So that. what can you tell our colleagues that may want to come and also have this wonderful experience that you guys have had? This is a great experience. Great. It's a great experience, and um, we've seen a lot over the past few days. Right. And um, I'm just looking forward to traveling around and, and helping out and learning as much as possible. Most welcome, Ray. Uh, we appreciate you coming and we appreciate your participating in the Malawi project. So, good luck. Thank you. Dr. Yobe, this is, this is a very interesting case uh, that we found here at Ntarire. And what can you tell us about this one? Well, this one, according to the patient's history, the same has been there for the past five, five years. Five years. And the swelling was the fixed film. And then uh, what, what we've done, we've raised this uh, gingiva up, yes. this lap. Take a closer look, yes. Yes. And then eventually what we've discovered is that there was a bony hard substance. Right. Like this one. So, so what we've done, we've just excavated this one. Right. And then eventually what we'll do, we're going to do a little bit of plastic size. We have to cut off this thing. Yes. So and then we are going to switch at these sides. Right. And then we have to put this this change of level. So we are going to switch up from the lab side under the pallet. Now let me just talk to one of our colleagues uh, from the U.S., uh, Dominic. Yes. Uh, you've 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 been assisting uh, uh, Dr. Yobe Moyo in in this operation. Uh, what what can you tell me about what you've uh, seen just now? Well, uh, when I first looked at it, I first expected it could be an ossifying fibroma or. Osteoma, but once it realized it wasn't mobile, uh, we realized it was probably bony. Once we excavated it, we felt it has a bony type of consistency to it. So uh, uh, I just assisted him from there. Right. Pretty, pretty unique. I haven't seen one yet. All week, a no player makes Jack a dull boy. And then besides uh, giving service to the people, you also had some lighter moments in there. Can you walk me through uh, the essence of the lighter moments? Absolutely. Uh, you, you know, Helbert, after a long and tiring day, what else do you want? You want to sit back? If you're in a city like Mzuz, you want to sit back and, and watch TV? Now, there's no TV in Tarire, but guess what? We had a great time in the evenings, the lighter moment. I, 
the villages just came down with, with dance troops and music uh, and we just joined in uh, it was great great fun and, and we just loved the lighter moments uh, just to just to interact and socialize with the community and, and that was excellent <laughs> making this mission possible oh how about you know um, this this is a medical mission God sent and, and as, as a ministry first and foremost we want to thank God just for for using us as, as, as a channel of blessing uh, to others who are less privileged but also let me make a special mention um, to the team uh, that, that volunteered to come this is an A team, and, 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 and they, they left the comfort of the city and just to go and lend a helping hand to someone out there in the community. And so we just want to say bravo and uh, thank you guys. You did a great, great job. And we would want to encourage others that may want to volunteer and to come on these um, medical mission teams. And, and in particular, I also want to thank the Christian Medical and Dental Fellowship of Malawi, uh, from whom most of our volunteers came. Uh, and we do appreciate uh, uh, the, 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 the support that they give uh, in, in this type of mission. Uh, Helbert, I also want to take an opportunity to express my deep felt gratitude to uh, Honorable uh, Chimango Muo Gondwe uh, uh, for, for inviting us into the area and also hosting the whole team uh, and, and, and we, just, we just want to say thank you for making this thing happen and uh, we thank God uh, that God gave you that uh, insight and it's our prayer uh, that um, uh, many community leaders will emulate this example and uh, just to work together with the church and ministry so that we can be a blessing to our people and together we can help our nation to go forward. And for the Eagle Wings Ministries International, this is not the end of the road. What's the next mission? What are you headed for next? We're going to go to Mbangweni, and that will be our main camp. But then we'll be also visiting the villages around, like Kalunguru. We should go, be able to go to Jenda, uh, Luwawa, uh, Maviri, and, and the surrounding areas. Just make a difference. And you call us, here we come. I just can't go there and talk. Well, you know, you feel this thing? No. Very awesome. Professional photographers capture real life. Wow. They don't capture posing. Nice. But now, now they are timber. They are timber. You can, you can take a photo. We just capture one. It's a nice scenery. Nice view. No, that's okay. And this time we'll find many animals on the way. Really? Oh, the, the 